First on Fox tonight, a local baker says he has the right to deny a same-sex couple a wedding cake. But now the Attorney General's office is investigating the Gresham business. KPTV's Laura Rios talked to the baker and joins us live from Gresham with the details, Laura. Shauna, Oregon law prohibits discrimination based on sexual orientation, but Aaron Klein of Sweet Cakes Bakery tells me he believes he is within his rights to refuse to make a cake for a same-sex wedding. I have one of those. Aaron Klein stays busy making sales at Sweet Cakes, the Gresham bakery he runs with his wife, except when he has a reason not to. A complaint filed with Oregon's Department of Justice alleges Klein turned customers away for a different reason. They wanted to buy a cake for a same-sex marriage. According to the complaint, Klein called the couple, quote, abominations unto the Lord, then said their money was, quote, not equal. We don't do same-sex marriages. From the Bible on the counter to the faith decoration on the wall, Klein and his wife make their religious beliefs well known to customers. I believe that marriage is a religious institution ordained by God. The book of Genesis talks about that. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife. That, to me, is the beginning, the basis of marriage. What Aaron wants to make clear is that he and his wife don't hate homosexuals. I have no problem with them. I have customers that come in almost on a weekly basis that are homosexual, I have no problem. They can buy my stuff. What's not fine, according to Aaron, is a marriage between people of the same sex. He says he'll always stand by that conviction. I'd rather have my kids see their dad stand up for what he believed in than to see him bow down because one person complained. The bakery's website says they, quote, strongly believe that when a man and woman come together to be joined as one, it's truly one of the most special days of their lives. And while Oregon law prohibits discrimination based on sexual orientation, Klein says his beliefs protect him. First Amendment, Constitution, uh, freedom of religion. I'm free to exercise my religion however I see fit. I should not be compelled to violate my conscience. They've made a choice to do what they're doing. I'm making a choice to not be a part of it. A Gresham Baker refuses to make a wedding cake for a same-sex couple. Now the state of Oregon is investigating whether his business violated the law. K2's Erica Nachlin talked with the business owner. And Erica, you also have a complaint uh, copy of that and the letter he got from the state as well? Yeah, the complaint is from one of the brides-to-be. She doesn't want to comment yet, not until she gets further legal advice. But the complaint says she used sweet cakes in Gresham for her mom's wedding. It was fine. When her partner went back for their wedding cake, the owner refused, and that owner doesn't deny it. Walk into okay. Sweet Cakes here in Gresham, and it's pretty clear faith is as important as the cupcakes. Yep. To owner Aaron Klein, who proudly displays the crosses of his Christianity, yep. his religious beliefs will so, even yeah, outweigh his business's wise. bottom line. If I have to, you know, I guess, quote, be penalized for my beliefs, then I guess, then, well, let it be what it is. Klein says he's refused to make wedding cakes for same-sex couples before, several times, time in fact. But this is the first time he's received notice from the state. The complainant says Klein not only refused to serve them, but also proceeded to say we were abominations unto the Lord. Honestly, did not mean to hurt anybody, didn't mean to make anybody upset. It's just something that I believe in very strongly. But beliefs aren't enough to cover him under Oregon law. The statute says any place or service offering to the public accommodations must provide full and equal accommodations without any distinction on account of race, color, religion, sex, or sexual orientation. But the question becomes, does his constitutional rights outweigh state statute? My First Amendment rights allow me to practice my religion as I see fit. Now, there is no exception under the state's anti-discrimination law for religious beliefs, but ultimately it would be up to a judge to decide if Klein's argument would hold up that his religious practices are protected by the Constitution, which would trump state law. Now, right now it is being investigated by the Attorney General's office, but I also touched base with the uh, Bureau of Labor and Industries. A spokesman there says he feels this would violate the law. He encourages that complaint to file a complaint with that bureau as well.